Okay, Link, Ryuji. Um, I'm just taking a uh, vid of 1521 Green Oak. I actually was coming to see this for Link. Ryuji was talking about this one as well. So I'm going to address both of you when I do this uh, video. And I'm no uh, Steven Spielberg, so please forgive me. Um, so here's the neighborhood. Uh, as I think I told both of you, this is a neighborhood that's uh, just to the... Um, just to the east of what's called Shadow Ridge, 92081, the best zip code in Vista. Um, you know, the, the development where all the houses are, are a bit similar. Um, and uh, you're going to get more white collar people here in this neighborhood than you will in some of the um, places we do in Oceanside, which again, doesn't really mean anything um, because blue collar guys are good tenants too, as are the military guys. So um, just giving a quick. Uh, quick uh, view of the neighborhood. This is facing west right here and uh, heads out to the main road which is Melrose where this place comes off, off of. So, um, Right here you can see the entryway of the house. Uh, two car garage um, which we'll be able to see a little bit more from the inside so I'm just going to kind of give you the bird's eye here. Um, you walk in up the driveway you make a right uh, here's the side yard. Uh, looks nice. Very easy stuff to maintain, which is like not such a tremendous deal. But uh, you know, the less nonsense and, and landscaping you have going on, the less you have to pay the landscaper. Uh, just for you guys' information, this is probably 75 bucks a month to take care of. Um, don't quote me on that, but that's what I pay for my stuff. It may I think that might be the minimum because there ain't going to be any more than that because uh, it's pretty easy. Okay, so you walk into the front door, um, through the front door, immediately you have the family sitting room, and a straight shot back through to the dining dining room, and then to the backyard, which is uh, which is nice. It means you get the cross breeze and um, and uh, a light coming through that side. Okay, so that would be like your family sitting and dining room, depending on what you want to do from that, and then the living room off to the left. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, walk around, uh, kind of counterclockwise here, back through the dining room. Um, you can see, go right into the uh, into the backyard here. Okay, and then left off of the uh, off of the uh, dining room is the kitchen. Now you know we're gonna see different kinds of places, and and for the renters, uh, something like this uh, with non upgraded. You can see this tile, and I'll get a little close up. This kind of stuff, and you'll learn. This is not upgraded at all. This is original equipment. Okay, uh, it's it's functional, it's manageable, um, but uh, it's the kind of stuff that is not upgraded with uh, with granite or something like that. Probably makes a difference, hundred, hundred and fifty bucks for rent, give or take. And the cabinets are all original too. So I'm just going to get close. This is the kind of thing like that has to be um, taken care of normally before we rent. If you get real close up to the cabinets, you can just see it's like a um, little bit um, pitted and and just to be just needs to be stained. Nothing needs to be replaced. They're all in fine shape. You paint these or stain them. Cost less than a thousand bucks. I can't give you the exact figure, but we have painters. We have stainers. I'd say you know a couple hundred bucks, under five hundred. And these cabinets will look like good as new. Okay, um, so here's what the, uh, the you know the kitchen looks like. The appliances are are not original, but they're they're older. There's nothing stainless steel in here, um, but the stuff looks to be in good shape. Okay, so coming back around here, uh, uh, just um, past the countertop in the kitchen, I'm going to take you outside. Uh, it's a small yard, uh, which is good if you're. Uh, if you're the person who has to pay to maintain the yard, okay? What's really awesome about this place is there's this canyon back behind you. Uh, it's really nice to sit back out here, I would think, to uh, to kind of just chill out. Nobody's lived back here. I'm just going to take you back over the fence here. And uh, you can see there's just uh, there's just kind of canyon in the, in the back there and some houses up there on top of the hill. So that's nice. You know, people will like, like that for the... Uh, for the privacy aspect, and plus when they're sitting out here in their backyard, there's not any, like there's some windows there, but nothing that's like directly looking into the backyard, okay? So going back in through the, uh, through the back door here, um, just walking straight back, so this is the more the, the, uh, the family room, 
okay, as opposed to the living or sitting room, whatever you want to call it. Ignore that beeping in the background. That's a bad battery in the uh, uh, in the smoke detector. So coming back off past uh, past the family room here, there's a closet off to your left hand side. Directly across from that is your half bathroom, your downstairs half bath. Um, this is better than than you see sometimes. This countertop is uh, I don't I don't know what it is exactly, but it's not that tile. So I think this is slightly better. It's durable. And the same thing with these uh, with these cabinets. It's just the kind of stuff that needs to be. Um, stay. You could rent it like this. You have absolutely no problem renting it like this. I've rented places like this before. Just depends on what you want to do when you uh, when you when you come in. Um, you can see there's laminate. Uh, this is laminate flooring, um, which is uh, cheap and durable. Um, it's better than carpet when you're when you're talking about downstairs and heavy traffic areas. You don't have to replace this stuff. So that's good. Uh, whenever you walk in the house and you see a bunch of carpet downstairs, um, you know, depending on the shape it's in, you got to think, well, I'm going to have to clean that and and uh, and uh, or change it out or whatever every time. So, um, particularly in my apartments, not so much the houses, but particularly in my apartments, well, we take out the carpet, we put either laminate or vinyl flooring down um, yeah, on the downstairs anyway. Okay, I'm just going to let you peek in the garage. Not really anything to see, but you'll just see there's a uh, two-car two garage out here. Okay, the laundry machines are in the, in the garage, which is uh, typical of a house this size. The, the, the houses that we're looking at are typically not going to have the washing machine inside, but they may do. The, the bigger houses in Oceanside might do. So, and then uh, back around here, and there's your hot water heater. Uh, which looks reasonably new. The hot water heater is something you're going to replace every 15 years. I'll try not to repeat myself every time, but this is the first video I'm taking for you guys. You're going to typically replace that thing every 15 years, and that'll cost you 800 bucks, give or take. Uh, this is the central air and furnace unit, and that looks to be in reasonably good shape and new as well. Um, okay, just going to walk through here now. And, uh, and take you upstairs. So coming back from the garage, again, this is the family room, uh, a sliding door, looking out from that door as well, nice. Uh, you come around the right, and just there's the front door where we came in. If we had gone immediately left when we came in, you come to the stairs, um, and we'll go up the stairs. And immediately when you come up, there is a uh, one bedroom kind of uh, catty corner here. I'm not going to close the doors or open anything. This is a good size bedroom. This, this is not the master, but this is the second bedroom. So uh, good size bedroom here. When it comes to looking at the bedrooms, um, there's not uh, anything major you need to know. Uh, good thing about this place that I see already, carpet doesn't need to be replaced. Um, paint, I don't think you're going to need um, paint in here to get your, to get your first tenant in. I think the tenant's taking pretty good care of this place. Um, I mean, of course, there's going to be, if we look close enough, there's going to be spots on the walls that need to be touched up. But as far as, like, renting this thing, it's a no-brainer. I haven't seen any, uh, I haven't seen any real net. Like, you can see there's a little bit of stains here on the carpet, a little bit there. We'd have to talk to the property manager, but I, I think for this level of house, I wouldn't think it's such a big deal and some of these stains might come up when the tenant um, when the tenant takes care of it so this is the master bedroom master has a nice view of the canyon uh, over the uh, over the top here out of the window so pretty cool um, and then in the, in the master itself uh, the master bath which is attached which is what we'll see almost uh, all the time uh, and this is what I was talking about like the tile here hasn't been upgraded so it's fine um, nothing wrong with it but uh, it's not it's not an upgrade and it's original stuff if you put like several thousand dollars into granite countertops and stuff like that you might get more rent you'll definitely get more rent makes it look nicer but for the for these purposes what you have I wouldn't do that but I would um, I would sand and paint or stain these cabinets okay same thing with the tub the tile is uh, that's all original equipment shower right there um, I'll just show you real quick here's what we call this uh, little shower disease 
that's going to be common around here. We're going to see that everywhere. That's just uh, a little bit of a um, tad bit of corrosion from the from the water and the buildup. But this is uh, this is on a scale of one to ten. This is like a three or a two or maybe even a one compared to some of the shower disease I've seen in my life. So uh, nice and clean. They're doing a good job uh, taking care of this. And then nice uh, Japanese style toilet kind of hidden away from the door by the door. Um, which is nice, so. Uh, okay, so that's the master. And then I'm just gonna take you into the other two bedrooms, other end of the hall. Uh, there's some cabinets in here, same same basic type of stuff. Um, if you sanded and stained all that, it would look a lot better. Here's the uh, bathroom number two. Um, everything looks fine, don't see any water stains. This. Uh, this, what do you call it, linoleum flooring is, uh, it's old, it's kind of ugly, but it's indestructible, so that's good, that's always what you, you want in a rental, I mean, yeah, you could rip that up and put you know, proper stone or tile or something like that, but anyway, um, this is getting really long and windy, um, here's uh, bedroom number one, or bedroom number three, kids room, closet, and bedroom number four, Bedroom, closet, and then back downstairs. There's the view from the top of the stairs out through the back. Uh, overall, in good shape. Uh, I would think that this thing will rent right around twenty five fifty. Diana says twenty five hundred. I think you could get twenty six hundred. The uh, um, it just depends on, on the you know who comes and looks at it. Okay, I will uh, send this to you guys later. Yep.